Does changing from chord to chord stop your playing dead in its tracks? Well, in this lesson, I'm gonna share with you a way to make your chord changes easier and more interesting by adding a bass walk. Plus, at the end of the lesson, I'm gonna give you the master formula so you can create any bass walk that you need to. So let's go ahead and get started. First things first, what the hell is a bass walk? Okay, so a bass walk is going from the root or low note of one chord to the root or low note of another chord. I'm gonna use a G chord to a C chord for an example here. So I wanna go from that low G note of a G chord, located on the third fret of the low E, to the low C note of a C chord, located on the third fret of the A, All right? I need to get from here to here. Now I can make that chord change in just a single strum, and that's fine, but it's not interesting, plus it puts a lot of stress on that actual transition. You have to nail the whole chord right off the bat. A bass walk fixes all that because it gives you a little bit more time to prepare for the chord transition because you're leading up to or walking up to that root note. So here's a bass walk in context so you know what it is. Here we go, from G to C again. So you can see that those bass notes actually led to the root note of that C chord. The bass walk in isolation sounds like this. It's a nice chromatic walk up, fret by fret walk up. Now the next crucial thing you need to understand in performing a bass walk is the time window that it takes up. This is crucial for being able to add a bass walk to your playing. So for this bass walk, it's occupying the three and the four beat, okay? So this is how it sounds. I'm gonna go ahead and count along with it so you understand, but pay, pay special attention to the three and the four beat because that's when the bass walk is happening. So here we go, I'm gonna count along with it. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, one, two, and three. So that bass walk starts on the three, occupies the four beat, and then we end up on the root note of that C chord, the one beat, right? And we're freshly into our strumming pattern. So now here's the master formula that you need to know to construct any bass note. Now I'm gonna use this G to C example, so we really iron it out. So the master formula is this. You go to your destination note, right? The low note or the root note of the chord that you're going to, and you minus two frets. So from that third fret of the A, I'll minus two frets. That's gonna be the note that happens on the three beat. The next note will be the note that happens on the four beat. And lo and behold, the note that happens on the one beat is the root note of that C chord. So here it is in action, right? So I'm gonna count again just so you really get the idea of this bass walk. So here we go. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, one, two, so remember that master formula, the destination note or the root note of the chord that you're going to minus two frets and boom, you've got yourself a bass walk. So go ahead and practice those steps. Go ahead and create your own bass walks and you'll make chord transitions a hell of a lot more fun and much more interesting. I hope this lesson helped you spruce up your chord transitions. And if you have any tips that you wanna share, please do so in the comments below. Now, if you're ready to have more fun with your guitar and get better in the process, I really want you to check out Tony's Acoustic Challenge. It's an acoustic guitar program like you've never seen before. Go ahead and click the link here in the video or in the description below and see how it can take your playing to the next level. Thanks a lot for checking out the lesson.